Talk from little leagues to NFL franchises, sports teams with Native American mascots have been rebranding after national outcry. But voters in a community here in Massachusetts say they want to keep their Indian mascot. And as WBZ's Ken McLeod shows us, many members of a local tribe also want it to stay. There was a rendition on the sleeve. Tonight, Clyde Andrews showed us his press clippings from Dartmouth High football almost 50 years ago when the Aquina Wampanoag tribe member helped craft a version of the Indian that still adorns the school's helmets. That's Clyde on the left. It pays homage to the Native American that walked this land many, many years ago, and we are still here. Just yesterday, Dartmouth voters urged the school board to keep the Indian as the school mascot and logo by a three to one margin following years of debate. That vote bucks a nationwide trend of schools and pro sports teams scrapping many Native American monikers as disrespectful. Even the Cleveland Indians of Major League Baseball did it. In Cleveland, you had a very caricatured rendering of a Plains Indian that really didn't honor or respect the culture. Aquina Wampanoag Sean Carney believes context is everything here with no one size fits all solution, but he sees the sporting Dartmouth Indian as a tribute. In Dartmouth, you have a very historically accurate depiction of an Eastern Woodlands Indian, and the name Indian is not offensive on its face. I can't be having my town ignore when some people are harmed. But youth minister Gretchen Baker Smith argues that such imagery is demeaning. Tisdale's got running room. And chips away at the self esteem of indigenous youngsters, no matter what the townspeople voted for. To me personally, you shouldn't be having a vote on a civil rights issue. Truth is, not even all of the Aquina Wampanoags agree on this, and that puts the school board in somewhat of a pickle when it tackles the logo's fate on April 25th. It looks going in for an Indian score. But both sides would love to see school kids get a more serious dose of local Native American history, including Clyde, the former running back. It's disrespect. In Dartmouth, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.